Welcome in to the kitchen, Chef Rocky. This rock, re rock recipe is going to involve a lot of sugar, and that is a good thing. Yeah, not necessarily a bad thing. Mm. Um, this time of year, though, we got some great ingredients, um, and so we're going to utilize a, a lot of them, right? Okay. So things like, um, obviously, molasses or syrup, okay. right? Like a maple-type syrup, apples, beautiful fall ingredients like that, brown sugar, some pumpkin pie-style spices is going to make this maple apple crisp Perfect. Well, let's rock this recipe. All right, here's what we're going to do. I already sliced up those uh, apples for you. You want to throw those right into this bowl right here. Um, go ahead and go in with all of them. And then you're going to squeeze uh, one wedge of the lemon. It's going to be about a, a teaspoon, roughly, of lemon juice into that. Okay. And then we're just going to hit that with just a little bit of sugar. Um, not, all, not all the sugar, yeah. Just sprinkle just a touch of the sugar. Just a granulated. That looks good. That looks good right there. And we're just going to let that kind of sit for just a moment. I'm going to add a little bit of our maple syrup here um, to that. It's going to give us a little bit better flavor here. And then we're just going to just toss that up. That is actually going to be the, uh, the base of our apple crisp. Now, you know how I, I like to uh, add a little bit of flair, right? So I'm going to put in just a touch of our Himalayan pink salt from our friends over in Wolf Planet Salt, Spices and Specialties. All right. That's going to bring out a lot of those other flavors as well. So that's the actual filling itself. If you want to start by packing in our, um, in our souffle dishes, you can just start packing them right down in okay. there. Okay. Um, so we're going to make two today. The recipe at MyHighPlains.com is going to be the exact same as this. So you'll be able to make two of these as well. Okay. So as you begin to kind of pack that in, we're going to start to build what's going to be our topping. Okay. So you want to start with some flour. About a half a cup of flour is going to go into there. Okay. The remainder of our sugar is going to go in there as well. And then we're going to add a little bit of brown sugar as well. Okay. So this is going to be a lot of sugar, but it tends to be pretty sweet. Um, and, that, and we do like that because we're going to get some tart from the apple. We got a little acidity from the lemon juice, right? Okay. About a half a cup of rolled oats. These are just your basic Quaker quick oats, right? They are, are going to be the rolled oats, right? Okay. So it's going to happen pretty quick. And then I like to put in some chopped walnuts in there as well. So we got walnuts, we got cashews. Oh my gosh, we're going to get actually a lot of beautiful flavors coming in here, okay? These are getting nutty. I've got cold diced butter. Okay. Why is it important? We uh, want it to be cold. We want to make sure it's cold because we want to be able to keep its consistency before okay. we go into the oven. Okay. Now you want to so, just stir this together? Yeah, we're actually just going to mash that together, and that's going to be a topping for our um, souffle-sized okay. right. apple crisp as soon as we get back. And just, just keep my smash on? Yep, and we just want to make sure that that stays pretty clumped. All right, pretty you clumpy. guys take care. We're going to get our clump on, and we'll be back with more on this rock recipe after this.